What is up, awesome people of the internet? All right, y'all. Uh, we are a week into women's college basketball, and it's been fireworks so far. And because of that, we are introducing Quita's Power Six rankings. This is a chance for us to take a look at the hottest six teams in the country. And like Stephen A. Smith says, this list is fluid. And it's based on what teams have done recently and not necessarily the players on their roster. So sort of keep that in mind as we go down this list. All right, guys, starting at number six, we got, boom, the women of Troy at USC. Why? Well, because the Trojans got that girl. Her name is Juju Watkins. If you don't know, now you know. Now, this girl single-handedly, just about, beat number seven ranked Ohio State. She had 32 points in this game and some really nice defense. And guys, remember, she's just a freshman, y'all. Can you imagine two, three, four years from now how good she's going to be? And a uh, correction there. No, she didn't single-handedly beat USC because USC got some players, y'all. They got a big one, woman in the middle. Her name is Raya Marshall. And she's taking names. Uh, and hey, if you coming against her in the paint, you better watch out because this girl, she could play some defense and she got some offense for y'all. In that game against Ohio State, she had 17 rebounds and 18 points. Now, that's pretty impressive. All right, y'all, uh, USC is very good, and y'all better be ready to play them because they coming. Actually, they, didn't, they ain't coming. They hit them. So watch out for USC. At number five, we got, boom, them girls at NC State. And why? Well, because they beat the number two team in the country in UConn. And if you beat the number two team in the country, you are making Quita's power six list, y'all. Now, again, um, as I said earlier, this list is fluid. Do I think that NC State is the number five team in the country? No, I don't. But this week, yes, they have proven themselves to be the number five team in the country because they beat the Goliath that is UConn. NC State has Saniya Rivers, Isaiah James. These girls are the real deal, y'all. Um, and if this game against UConn is any indication, we are gonna see Sanai Rivers, Isaiah James, NC State for for months and months to come until the tournament because they some ballers. And if they beat UConn, the way they beat UConn, y'all y'all better check out for uh, NC State. All right, going on to number four, we got boom Colorado. Why? Well, because when you beat the defending champs and the number one team in the country, you're getting in Quia's Power Six list. Again, Colorado is a legit team that's made up of players who are not afraid of nobody. And they show LSU that they ain't afraid, they ain't afraid of them at all. They got players like uh, their motor, Jalen Sherrod, who just is a straight up baller. She just is. She controls the floor. She's great. They have three-point assassin Frida Foreman, and they got the big girl in the middle, Aronette Von Lay, y'all. Colorado is legit, and they got a coach in J.R. Payne who knows how to put out a really good game plan and have her team execute it, y'all. Colorado is here. I know there's a lot of uh, Colorado Buffalo uh, men's football hype because of Deion Sanders, but y'all, these this Colorado women's team, they're here. And... In Colorado fashion, they got a Sanders. Yes, she ain't gonna play that much, but hey, they got a Sanders on the name of their back. Colorado, they legit. They come in at number four, y'all. Going on to number three, y'all. Uh, we got, boom, some UCLA Bruins. And uh, why do we have them? Well, because they're a talented team that took care of business this week in a week where other top teams could not. Uh, did they play the most talented teams uh, this past week? No, they didn't at all. But this team is a very talented team. Uh, they're ranked uh, for the AP at number four. Uh, they didn't do anything crazy, so that's why they're still in the power rankings for this week. Um, they have players like Lauren Betts, Charisma Osborne, Kiki Rice that are looking pretty good right now. And I just can't imagine how they're going to look months and months down the line. They're going to be pretty good. And y'all, um, if you don't know, now you know. UCLA is playing UConn on November the 24th, so make sure y'all set y'all DVRs because whoever wins this game is for sure going to be on that week's uh, power ranking list. So you'll feed yourself with thank you if you DVR that game and watch it. All right, now we are just going down the list. Now we're going to number two. So who we got for number two? Is it South Carolina? Is it Iowa? 
It is some Iowa Hawkeyes. And Iowa came into this season ready to play, y'all. Uh, they made it to the championship game last year. And they want y'all to know it's not a fluke. Sure, one of their games against Northern Ireland with or Northern Ireland, Northern Iowa, um, and that game didn't mean that much because the team wasn't very good. But y'all, they played an amazing game against Virginia Tech, number eight team in the country, and they put everyone on notice that it is Caitlin's Clark world, and we are just living in it. We're just living in it, y'all. Iowa's entire offense is wrapped around Caitlin Clark. Uh, she does get her other uh, teammates involved. Uh, but it really is a Caitlin show. She played all 40 min minutes in that Virginia Tech game. And y'all, even though Caitlin Clark can shoot out the gym, she was amazing. Um, eventually, this is going to catch up to this team where they're going to need other players to step up. Uh, so for now, it's Caitlin Clark's world. We're living in it. So Iowa at number two for this week. Um, now, on to number one. You probably guessed it. It is those girls at... South Carolina. And why? Well, because they did their thing this week. They handled business. Y'all, they went all the way to Paris to visit the Eiffel Tower, to sightsee, all that amazing stuff. And uh, they came to demolish number 10 Notre Dame, which they did. Um, and then they come back to the States. And then y'all, they destroy Maryland, y'all. 114 to 76. South Carolina is a dangerous team, and Don Staley wants you to know that they are not here to play with y'all. They are the hunting and not the hunted. So y'all better be on y'all A game when y'all playing South Carolina because they got the blocking queen, Camilla Cardoso in the paint. You got Malaysia Fulwiley, a player that can just straight up jump out the gym and, and is a walking highlight reel. They can have come off the bench. And also, they got Tahina Pow Pow, who can just shoot. So, what more could you want? South Carolina has just about everything. And they are looking like they might be even better than, next, than last year. Who knows? This team is looking really good, and I don't know who can stop them. So, right now, we got South Carolina as our number one. Guys, that is the list. What do y'all think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you hate this list? Do you love this list? Uh, let me know. Um, and again, remember, 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 this list is fluid and it's based off of the schedule so far. So next week we will see what happens. Maybe some of these teams are on it. Maybe some teams are not on it next week. Uh, but y'all, um, happy women's college basketball season to everyone who celebrates. Until next time, guys. Bye.